We began the news uh, by bringing you the sad news of the death of a former Zambian president, Rupian Banda. Uh, he died at uh, his residence. We now have joining us for some update on the sad development, News Centre's correspondent, Lydia Makina. Thank you very much for joining us, Lydia. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, could you tell us the mood now? It is indeed a sad loss for the country. Well, it is a sad, you know, development to hear the death of the fourth uh, Republican uh, Zambian president, uh, Rupia Banda, who was uh, a very jovial president uh, during his uh, reign uh, of uh, while he was a president. Well, the, uh, he has died at his residence around uh, 19 hours. Uh, his death was announced by his second uh, oldest son, uh, Andrew Banda. And then we all know to say that uh, Rupia Boisan Banda, who took over from, you know, um, Mwanawasa, he was uh, a, a social president. And to say that he was a president that uh, brought, uh, you know, we can say he contributed unity among, uh, you know, the outgoing president, uh, 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 Dr. Edgar Changwalungu, and also the current president, Hagainde uh, Hichilema. So we see that the sad development really, the, his passing is really uh, heartbreaking to every Zambian citizen. And as well as uh, we also see that uh, um, uh, His Excellency um, Hagainde Hichilema has just officially announced his death. The nation has urged uh, the nation to to mourn in peace, as well as to uh, pray for the braved family. And we see that the relationship between uh, Hagainde Hichilema and uh, the former president, the the, uh, the fourth president Rupia Banda, was very uh, strong. Uh, we saw that uh, he actually uh, visited his resident on Thursday, where he encouraged the family, uh, the Banda's family, to be prayerful and as well as to look up to God. So it's really a, a sad development to lose such a, a great man. Indeed. What are the people um, saying? Are they paying uh, their respect to his legacy? What is he most remembered for? Well, we are actually uh, uh, paying, uh, we remember in many ways. Uh, he's the man of peace, first of all, he was a jovial person, and then as well as he is a man that uh, we can say that uh, he actually even handled, handed over the power, just like he, uh, Edgar Changwalungu did, uh, in a peaceful manner. And his legacy will remain to be that Rupia uh, uh, Banda was a fully a committed Christian, and as well as is the man that balanced his uh, cabinet. And uh, we also see that he's the man that never used to have a you know uh, words with uh, other politicians. So uh, everybody is talking about his, uh, his love for this nation. He's the man that loved the nation dearly, and he believed in Zambians. And uh, um, he also encouraged Zambians before his death to really work together and to see that Zambia becomes great again. So he's the man that really contributed to the unity and peace of this nation. So uh, everybody, we remember him to be a man of peace. And All right, uh, before we let you, indeed, before we let you go, uh, I'd like to find out from you if there is any announcement, any idea as to uh, when the burial would be. Uh, from the uh, president's uh, speech, uh, it has not yet uh, been announced when the burial is going to be, to be and uh, where. So, uh, so far, because he's just uh, the passing out of, he, uh, you know, the death just. Uh, he passed out uh, like um, at um, so 19 hours so at his residence. So we have not yet uh, been given the, the date for his burial. All right. I guess we'll circle back to you yes. for any updates on the burial. Thank you very much, Lydia Makina, a New Central's correspondent in Zambia. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.